Hey, good morning, everybody. It's hump day. Happy Wednesday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Another day in paradise. No clouds this morning. Boy, clear blue skies everywhere. Oh, there goes Roy walking down the beach. We're an hour or so away from low tide this morning. There's a couple of rental chairs still sitting out here on the beach. That's unusual. Those guys are usually pretty good about bringing them back in. That's, that's what the lounge chairs look like, the beach lounge chairs that you can rent here at the park. They also have umbrellas. Absolutely beautiful out here. Look at that blue sky. No clouds this morning. Although it was nice seeing those clouds yesterday. They always make for a pretty picture. Clear sky though this morning. Right now it's oh maybe 72 degrees. Expecting a high of near 90 today. Water is looking gorgeous this morning. 74 degrees, almost 75 degrees. Nice and clear. A little jewel shell sitting here on the beach. One of our little jewel box shells. It's little ridges and bumps on it. It's got one little spine sticking up on it. Oh no, that was some sand. I thought it was one of the spines. You can find these find spiny jewel box shells here. Those are really neat. They look like little porcupines. if that big flower is still up here on the beach. Nice and quiet this morning. Wednesday morning. If you're just joining us for the first time, this is Del Norwegian's Pass State Park up in North Naples, a beautiful Florida State Park. One of many beautiful Florida State Parks. There are just shells strewn all over the beach here this morning, little shells. There's one of our common shells, the slipper shell down here. Whoops, where'd it go? There. That's kind of a, a different shape slipper shell. They're a little usually a little more elongated than this. This is more of a round slipper shell. You turn it over, you can see how it looks like a little slipper or a little shoe, the slipper shell. Seen, I haven't seen the dolphins or any dolphins here for a couple days, but we do have dolphins every day. They're sighted here. Just depends when you're out here. Where's a nice little, little tiny conch shell to add to my collection of little conch shells. I love these little shells. That's a little fighting conch, a Florida fighting conch. There's a Anything else tucked in here? Yeah, lots of slipper shells. Yeah, these slipper shells, they come in all different colors. Colors and sizes. See, there's two different color slipper shells right there. That one's almost blending in with my finger there. Those are both slipper shells. 
Another common shell we have here, you'll find these all up and down the beach, again, all different sizes of them, are these little kitten's paws. Pretty obvious why they would call that a kitten's paw. There's a lot of people collect these little kitten's paws. You can find them in different colors. A nice little scallop, one of our little scallops. Those are so colorful. There's lots of little shells along the beach here. You can see this little line of shells running right along the high tide line there, the high tide mark. So lots of shells out in the water as that tide goes out. Low tide is really the best time to come out and do your shelling out here. But the later it gets, the more people start showing up here. So it's always nice to come out here bright and early. Be the first one out here. Get first pick of everything on the beach. They do open the gates early now. The park officially opens. If you look at the website, if you go on the website here, it opens at eight, but they've been opening the gates at 7.30. So you can get out here a little earlier, which is nice if you have to go to work at nine or something, you can come out and spend a half hour on the beach before you go to work. There's a big biting conch shell down here. There's a conch in there too. This is a live Florida fighting comp. He's down in his shell there. Trying to coax him out here to show his face, but he wants to go to sleep. He's taking the morning off there. The Florida fighting conk. I'm going to sit him down by the edge of the water. There you can see him when I put him in the shade, get a better look at him in there. You can see his foot down there. A little bit of his body. I'll just take him and sit him by the edge of the water. Help him out. There's a turkey wing shell right behind me. Oh. Those are neat, the turkey wings. I, was, I found those kind of interesting when I first started coming out to the beach and learning about shells, the turkey wing. I didn't know the names of any shells when I first came out here a couple years ago. And it all started making sense when people started telling me the names. Obviously, this is, should be real obvious why that's called a turkey wing. do we have yeah, there are so many little shells buried along here every time the tide comes in and out you know it uncovers more you know different shells it bury some uncover some so you never know what you're gonna find out here. Every day is different. Something unique every day. Mostly, you mostly find little shells here at Del Norwegans. Occasionally you'll find some nice big prizes. Mostly the shells here are smaller. 
Oh, that big flower is still here on the beach. It's hoping to see some dolphins come by here. There's that big flower that gentleman made out of sand and seashells. Still here. Isn't that cool? That is neat. Very, very cool. See how big it is when people stand next to it. That's huge. <laughs> Everybody has to get a picture, that's for sure. I hope he comes out. He's gonna I think he's gonna make something else here before he heads back to France. He's a it's a French pastry chef. He's made that. Hopefully he's gonna make a few more designs before he leaves. Walking up towards us here. Say good morning to Roy real quick. See how he's doing, how he's feeling today. See how his afternoon went yesterday. See how he enjoyed sunrise. Maybe he saw some dolphins this morning. Roy, good morning. What's up with you, Daddy O? <laughs> How's everything? Oh, everything's good. <laughs> well, I had a beautiful tint in the sky up at the end there this morning. Oh, was it nice? A nice yeah. sunrise? Yeah, well, there was a tint reflected on the water. It was really pretty. Nice. You See know, any dolphins yet this morning? No, no, no dolphins. dolphins this morning. Huh? How about yeah. yesterday? Did You're they... always asking me what the word of the day is. Yeah, what? Oh, I you wrote a, it down. I got a good word for you. Oh well, this is going to be good. <laughs> this is this is kind of kind of a good one. Okay. I had my uh, pizza party yesterday uh, uh, for dinner. Oh, that's right. And we You're went to the owning... clubhouse, and up at the oh. clubhouse, somebody had a a little wall plaque they're going to hang up. And uh, Jenny, it's so so goofy. Jenny took a picture of it, uh, and I and printed it out at home. Oh, awesome! I said, take that down to the beach and read that to Rob. Oh, okay. There we go. Life begins at 80. I have good news for you. The first 80 years are the hardest. The second 80 are a succession of birthday parties. <laughs> Once you reach 80, everyone wants to carry your luggage, your baggage, help you up the stairs. If you forget your name or anybody else's name or an appointment or your own telephone number or you promise to be three places at the same time or can't remember how many grandchildren you have, you need to only explain that you are 80. Being 80 is a lot better than 70. At 70, people are mad at you for everything. <laughs> At 80, you have a perfect excuse. No matter what you do, if you act foolish, it's your second childhood. Everybody is looking for symptoms of softening of the brain. <laughs> <laughs> softening of the brain. Being 70 is no fun at all. At that age, they expect you to retire to a house in Florida and complain about your arthritis. <laughs> <laughs> and you ask everybody to stop mumbling because you can't understand them. Actually, your hearing is about 50% gone. <laughs> if you survive until you're 80, everyone is surprised you are still alive. They treat you with respect just for having lived so long. Actually, they seem surprised that you can walk and talk sensibly. <laughs> so please, folks, try to make it to 80. It's the best time of life. People forgive you for everything. Anything. If you ask me, life begins at 80. Uh, so there you go. <laughs> there's our thought for the day. Life Anybody begins who's at 80, 80, there's your thought for the day. Life begins. Of course, I could have, I could apply that for 90. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we have to come up with one for 90 now. <laughs> I love that. Stop mumbling because 
I, I, people on the phone, half the time I can't understand. They jabber away so fast. And I ask them, please slow, slow down and talk louder. And they go, blah, 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 blah. you know, I can't hear, hear half of what they're saying. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. <laughs> Ask, ask everybody, stop mumbling. <laughs> Actually, your hearing is about 50% gone. Huh? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> oh, man, that is so oh, true. Oh. <laughs> I love this. Being 70 is no, no fun at all. At that age, they expect you to retire to a house in Florida complain about your arthritis. Don't we know about that? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good so one, So that's boy. the word of the day. Oh, 80. Oh, well, I'll, I've got another 20 years to go. Yeah. <laughs> but well, you're just a child. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's somebody's child. That's for sure. So all your 80-year-olds, their, their life begins at 80. Uh, we have some friends that are 80, 80 years old. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. They get a kick out of this. That was funny, Roy. Well, that made our morning for sure. <laughs> where was that at? at the... Well, it was at the clubhouse there where we had our pizza. Uh, we always had pizza on Thursday. And then, uh, oh, you uh, don't go to Leone's? Well, Leone's delivers it. Oh, it's okay. Leone's Pizza. Oh. But it's that clubhouse at Palm River or oh, something. Oh, Palm River, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. I know where that is. Yeah. yeah. That's where... Um, Gail and I had our wedding reception. Oh, really? In the clubhouse, yep. Well, I'll be darned. A million years ago. Yeah, it's a nice, <laughs> nice spot there. Yep. Yeah, very yep. pleasant. Her parents used to live there, yeah. and so we had our reception. Well, Ron and there. Dave are, are there, That's uh, and I met oh, them neat. on the beach. You know, the ones with the big hats? Oh, right. Yeah, Ron uh, and Dave, and they live there, and so we always meet at that clubhouse. Well, that was fun, Roy. I see that flower is still up on the beach. Yeah, oh, that, that thing beautiful? Is, that is something. I hope he yeah. makes something else before he heads back to France. Yeah. Oh, that was that Frenchman, huh? Yeah. Oh, a, I'll be darned. A French pastry chef. Yeah, France. that's right. Yeah, yeah. Phil was telling me about him. <laughs> oh, so did it get very busy here yesterday? It got kind of yeah, cloudy Yeah, yeah, it was really it was busy. busy. Yeah, well, the clouds kind of burned off. It got real yeah, hot. Yeah, they kind of were coming and going yesterday. Yeah, yeah, they well, they, they burned off completely, and it was really, really a warm one. Went for a bunch of plunges. I think it's going to be a hot one today again. How's that Boy. feel to it? No clouds today. I was really hoping to see a dolphin. No dolphins. Not yet. They're out there. They're always out there somewhere. Isn't it beautiful? Look how blue the sea is. Isn't I just it love it. Blue, blue sea. My gosh. This is God's Country Club Look, right here. Dream about sailing out, out to the horizon and dropping off. Dropping off, sailing going, out to the edge going and going over the, the edge. Going off to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what they used to think in the old days. Yeah, the world was flat. Well, they used to think there were monsters over the edge, sea serpents. And, oh, really? Oh, yeah. I thought they just thought you are going to fall off. <laughs> no, I think they, they had all kinds of different ideas. But, you know, there were, in the old days, there were seafarers, though. They must have seen them come up over the horizon. You the would think. kind of gradually come into view. You would think. Yeah. Because they're know. rising in that They must away. have thought they were just rising up out of the sea. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the, the captains of the ships, they knew that because uh, they'd sail around the world. They'd go to Asia and trade and I don't know what all. Maybe that was after. That was after, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's right. Yeah. They weren't going around the world yet. Intentionally, oh, the old anyways. Vikings, back in the old days, oh, the Vikings, they were big seafarers, those guys. Well, I'm sure there were ships that set sail that never came back, back in the old days. I mean, yeah. they didn't know anything about the storms. And, I mean, I'm sure well, there were the a Vikings lot of ships that Vikings were tough guys. They survived back. those storms. They were really some The Vikings, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. yeah, tough guys. There were some tough people. Yeah. Yeah, you can go up to Minnesota and meet some. <laughs> and they made those big canoes. Yeah. Mike's a Viking. <laughs> He's from Minnesota. Oh, yeah. Fisherman Mike, yeah. Fisherman Mike. Oh, Haven't yeah. seen him in quite a while. I, I don't know what he's up to. It's unusual. It's been a couple, three weeks at least, or, yeah, one, or more. Know, yeah. He must have company, or he's going out well, on his he boat. He was having company, yeah. He must be going out on his boat. I don't know. That's right. I think he's got a boat, yeah. yeah. Oh, you've never... 
I thought you went out on his boat. No? I think we did one time. Yeah, I thought you sure. guys went out one day. Could be. Hey, you're 90. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> can't remember. <laughs> remember what it said here? You can't remember your telephone number and you can't remember how many <laughs> grandchildren you have. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> well, you got an excuse. Yeah. <laughs> and yep. I got them by 10 years. Those there guys you go. Are 80. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm going to keep continue my beach walk here. I'll catch up with you a little now bit that you, before. Now that you got the good word of the day. Yeah, we got the word of the day early. <laughs> <laughs> we got the thought for the day. I love it. That was cute. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll catch up to you in a little while. Have a good time. All right, Roy. Thanks, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, our good friend, Roy. That was funny. Being 80. Good morning. Well, I'm gonna mosey up the beach here behind Roy. Maybe we'll take a, maybe I'll go a little bit further south here. See if there's any interesting shells here. That was funny. You gotta, if you're just tuning in, Roy read us a little story about being 80. That was funny. Ooh, there's some clouds showing up here. Look at that. Boy, there weren't any clouds in the sky earlier. Now there's some clouds rolling in. I thought it was going to be clear today. Oh, well, you just never know. We're in the mid-70s right now. It's warming up fast as that sun comes up. High of close to 90 today, if not 90. Beautiful morning here. That water is 74. Probably getting close to 75 degrees. Really, really warm. The tide's on its way out. You can see the waves starting to break here along the sandbar offshore. Peaceful Wednesday morning. We've already got some folks out here doing some shelling, beach walking, Doing their morning jogging. Here comes a runner behind me. And finding all the really nice little shells up around the north end of area four. There's that beach flower, that sand and shell sculpture. Again, that's still here, thankfully. Beautiful. Very, very cool. It's all pieces of shells in the center. That is so neat. Looking forward to seeing some more beach art from that gentleman. Pelican soaring by. Boom, just dove into the water. Wonder if he caught breakfast. Where's those dolphins? We've got a couple families of dolphins swim by they just swim up and down the beach throughout the day just never know when they're 
when you're going to spot them. I tell you what, it's always fun when we do see them. That's for sure. There's a little beachcomber in training up here. Beautiful morning. I just can't say it enough. The sound of the waves breaking on the shore. So relaxing. You can feel that serotonin in the air when you breathe. Suck it all up. Serotonin, that's Roy's secret to happiness. There's somebody made a little sand castle over here. That's a, actually quite a little work of art. Look at this. That is quite a little work of art there. It's pretty neat. Always find something interesting at the beach there. That's for sure. That is really cool. Very neat. Well, we saw a lot of sea stars out here on the sandbar the other day. Out in the water and along the sandbar. Well, those pelicans are out here doing their thing. Dive bombing for breakfast. Let's see if we see them dive into the water. Heading, there he goes, boom. That's so cool. Do we have along the beach here? It's just so peaceful. I'm just kind of enjoying my walk this morning. Well, that water feels great. You gotta clear the water as you can see the bottom down there, some stones down there. Right where the waves are breaking and <laughs> splashing me. 
There's a bunch of little fish in front of me. Too small to see in the camera. Bunch of little minnows swimming around in front of me. I'm surprised there's not a bigger fish chasing them. saw on Facebook that our friend Austin Glenn isn't feeling well. So keep him in your prayers. Austin's the one that's trying to organize, get an order together to order some Hazi Posse shirts, Hazi's Posse hoodies and tees. But he's not feeling well right now, so I say a prayer that he gets well soon. There's a lot, I see a lot of fish jumping right out in front of me there. Surprised the pelicans aren't dive bombing them or the dolphins chasing them. There's an osprey right up over my head there. Just flew by. The osprey nest is right up on top of that tree there right up there right in the center of the screen the sun kind of went down there there's one osprey sitting in the nest probably the female and just saw the other flying by with something in its talons thought maybe it'd be coming back to the nest here in a minute see if i can zoom in a little more it's about as close as I can get from here. You see her head sticking up there in the nest. Hopefully we'll have some little baby ospreys here soon. That'd be fun. I don't know if there's any eggs up there. Hope oh, she just ducked down. That nest is in area four, the north end of area four, just above where, there's Roy, just above where Roy sits. The sun's gone behind some clouds now. The fish are starting to jump out here, mullets. See if we see them jump out here. They're just, the mullets are schooling now, just offshore. Keep an eye on the water right out in here. And we will see them jump. Huh, they're out there. Of course, when I point the camera at them, they don't want to jump. They don't want anybody to know where they are. Beautiful out there. There's a couple of pelicans soaring by. The fish are all jumping out around me here, just not right next to me. That's weird. They're jumping behind me now, in front of me, but not right out in front of me here on the water. Just ahead of me up the beach. Well, the clouds, the sun is really Ducked in behind some clouds here. I did not know we were going to have any clouds this morning, but one of the ospreys just came back to the nest right up here. Both of them are up there. 
right up on top of that pine tree right there. The sun's behind that big cloud right now. Some more pelicans just offshore. So fun watching those pelicans. Normally there's a nice little line of shells on the beach here, but the tide's still a little on the high side. So they're not up on the beach, they're still in the water. Right out here along the water, where all the good shells are. In the water there, on the edge. You can kind of see them down there, in between the waves. Kind of hard without the, with the sun being behind the clouds, though. See the ripples from the fish jumping out there. Again, those are mullet. They're, if you can see them jump here. Every once in a while, they'll just, I don't know, they just start jumping like crazy. The one up there just jumped out. Sun would come out. Come out from behind the clouds. There, where's our dolphins? Putting on a big show up here, right in, coming up to the shore. Oh wow! They just came right up to the shore up here. That was so cool. The mama, it looks like the mama and the baby dolphin. I don't know if you can see them out here. They might come in a little closer. See them right up here? Right in front of us. There's our dolphin this morning making their way down the beach. We'll follow along. We'll follow along with him. He's moving kind of slow. Should be able to keep up with him. Just one. Thought there were two. Just one there right now. See him? We'll make our way down the beach. A lot of times they'll come in close. Getting a little closer. Where'd he go? There he is. He's coming in a little closer. Oh, great look at him. He's getting a little closer. in on this side of the sandbar. Oop, there was the baby. This came up. It is the mama and the baby. Where are they? Where'd they go? Where did they go? Oop, there they are. The 
coming right up the beach here with us. There was the baby just popped up again. He's getting a little further offshore now. There's one. They might come in close to shore here again. We're just gonna follow them down the beach as best I can. Kind of guessing where they are here. There's a pelican back there. Where'd they go? Oh, they stopped. They're back here. He's following the dolphins, Roy, down the beach. Yeah, I've been following them down the whole way. They might come in close to shore here. Let's see. They're out here. There's one. There's, there's two of them out here. There's the mama with its little baby. Where did they go? There we are. Where did they go? There he is. What a great, great, great dolphin diving this morning. Earlier they came right into shore. We just missed that. They're just making their way down the beach. Oop, now they're, they've stopped up here. There's lots of fish out here for them. They're still right out here in front of us. You can see them swirling, the water swirling around. Sometimes they'll turn around and head the other way. Yep, now they're, let's see what they do here. They're gonna come in closer. They'll go the other way. Ooh, he's gonna come in. Look at him, here he comes. Look at him, there he goes. Whoa, he jumped right up out of the water. Wow. That was so cool. Wow. That was so neat. Let's see if he comes up again. He's just hanging out here. Wow. He might come in one more time for us. There's a little one over to the left. He's got a fish in his mouth. Yeah, looks like he's got a fish in his mouth too. He's gonna move on down the beach here. here. He might come in one more time for us. You can just see his wake behind him. 
It's right out, right out there. Whoop, he's stopping. Maybe he's gonna come in to close to us here again. Yep, he's spotted something. See that ripple in the water? Where'd he go? There he is. Heading back up the beach. What a great morning, huh? Oops, gonna turn around. Saw something in the water. Let's see if he comes in. Where is he going? Never know where they're gonna go when they stop. He's gonna come up over here, I think. Here he comes. Oh. Thought he was gonna come at us. Just playing around out there. Putting on a show for everybody. lost our son. He's still out there. You can see his fin popping up. Just on the other side of the sandbar. Where's he gonna go? Looks like he's gonna come south a little more. Sun would come up. What a great morning, huh? That was so cool. Well, we got to see him come ashore one time, close to shore, and jump up. They'll be back. If you spend the day out here, you will see these dolphins many times throughout the day. He's moving down the beach, heading south out there. Wow, that was great. So that means we're going to have a great day today. We spotted a dolphin. We've got to follow it swimming down the beach for quite a ways there. Oh, he's going to turn around. Looks like he stopped again out here. He's going to, might turn around. Nope. I thought there were two out there. Maybe just one. He's pretty far out there now. Over there. That was so cool. We are so blessed to be able to witness things like this. All these lucky people on the beach here getting to see that. I'm going to walk down a little further. He might come in to shore one more time up here before turning around right out in here. Oh, 
kind of far away, right out here. You just see his fin coming up. Yep. Well, that was quite a morning there, huh? I'm gonna head back and say goodbye to Roy. Maybe while I'm talking to Roy, we'll see another one swim by. That was fantastic. What a morning. That beats picking up seashells anytime. I love it. I'll repost that. Don't worry if you missed it. We'll see that dolphin again. And I was able to just follow him down the beach this morning. He wasn't moving too fast. That was cool. That was very, very cool. And they'll be back. That's for sure. They come up and down this beach all throughout the day. We have a whole family of them out here. Boy, it was no clouds in the sky this morning. And it's when we started, now it's clouding up. I had no idea it was gonna do that. They're talking about record-breaking highs today. and. Now it's actually kind of nice. Nice breeze blowing out here. I'm sure you can hear it blowing in the camera. Pelicans flying by. Dolphins swimming by. Oh. As Roy would say, glorious. What a glorious, glorious morning. Where's this pelican gonna go? Just doing a U-turn. See him diving into the water in the distance. The brown pelicans. Boom, all three of them dove at the same time into the water. Isn't that cool? That is so neat watching the pelicans. I don't understand why. I don't get the bike riding thing on the beach, but. I guess it's better than riding out in the road, getting run over. <laughs> Sometimes these bike riders can be really annoying in Naples. I think they own the darn roads. They just have no regard for any of the traffic laws. They forget that the stop sign means stop, whether you're in a car or a bike. They just go blowing through the stop signs. It's, I wonder, they don't get run over. A lot of them abide by the rules, obviously, but there's some that just have no regard for the rules. Boy, that was a big one, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a good one. I followed him from all the way up at the end of the beach down here. Oh, really? Yeah. All the way down, huh? Yeah. Did he roar into the beach? He, I saw him up there. He was up there at the north end roaring in, you know, but then one time he came ashore here, kind of jumped up with the fish. Well, that was right in front of me here. Yeah, right over here. here. Yeah, was, and he kind of out of water and flopped around. Yeah. Boy, he was huge, too. Yep, he was a big one. He was so big when he flopped around, I almost thought it was two of them. It seemed yeah, like, it looked like two, didn't like it? looked like two. I thought there were two there when I was but following them. But then it only was one came out of it, so it must have been all him. He's going to be back. <laughs> He'll be turning around here in a minute and coming back, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, I bet you got some good pictures of him, huh? I hope so. Yeah. You see old Bill down on the beach yet? Not yet. I didn't actually look for him, but he's probably... Is this the time he gets here? Yeah, about now. I'm going for my plunger and head out, I think. Yeah, you're going to head out early? Yeah. Got things to do today? Yeah, got a lot of stuff to do. All right. There's going to be a hot one down here, I understand. Yeah, it's supposed to be warm again today. Well, that's good for Well, I liked your little story about being 80. Ah, that was ah. great this morning. <laughs> Everybody's got to 
listen uh, to that up in that the beginning of our video here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. They got their Morning. they got their thought for the day early today. <laughs> well, we're just a lot of laughs. So yeah, that's for that sure. was great. There comes a little sun back out. Yeah. All right, Roy. Well, you have a blessed day. I love that about when you're 70, they expect you to buy a house in Florida and <laughs> that, that was complain funny. about your arthritis. <laughs> that was so funny. That's a good one. I hope everybody goes back and listens to that. Anyway, you have a great day. Yeah, hump, Rob. It's hump day today, Wednesday. Great seeing you, that's yep, for sure. Always good seeing you. It's going to be a good day. Whenever you see a dolphin, it's good luck in the morning. Yeah, and there was a rainbow yesterday. That's yeah. good luck, too been two wonderful days all right Roy tally ho yeah our good friend Roy 93 years old here comes some more pelicans where they're really putting on a show out here for us too where are they going oh I thought they were gonna dive into the water right in front of us let's see there they go Boy, the colors, look at the colors now when that sun comes out. Is that not beautiful? Look at the green of that water. Boom. Look at those guys dive into the water. That's just amazing. Let's see where this guy goes. Is he gonna turn around? He's heading down the beach. Boy, I'd love to see that dolphin now with this sun out. I'm still happy we got to see the dolphin earlier. We got to follow him down the beach. That was so cool. But look at the colors this morning. When that sun is out, it is just absolutely gorgeous. The sun's playing peekaboo here this morning, dodging in and out of those clouds. Beautiful. Look at the colors of that water. The emerald green of the Gulf of Mexico. Beautiful. More pelicans. There's Bill hunting for shark's teeth. Oh, nothing yet. Just gotten, getting started. Just getting going, buddy. Yeah. How are you? Good, good. I just, Supposed to go up to 90 today. Yeah, it's crazy hot. Wow, it's crazy summer, hot, it's, huh? It's, it's summertime in Florida. Yeah, summertime <laughs> in February. Yeah, That's it. insane. Yeah. Boy, we just I just followed a dolphin from all the way down at the end, all the way up down to Area Three. Yeah. There we had quite a few yesterday afternoon. Afternoon, yeah. yeah. In the afternoon, we got quite a few. They're out here, that's for sure. You uh, just don't got, know when you're going to see them. And they got the little ones with them. Yeah, that's what's so neat. They are funny, eh? jumping out of the water. Oh, yeah, they have a ball. They're just like little kids. <laughs> They're having a great time. Yep. <laughs> All right, good luck, Bill. Have a good one. Yep. He's all ready for his plunge, but he's leaving early, he said. See you later. Is that not a beautiful picture right there? Too bad that sun wasn't shining like this when we were following that dolphin down the beach earlier. You've got to check that out. We followed him from area five to area three as he swam offshore. We got quite a few good looks at him. Quite a few people following along with me this morning as he was swimming down the shore. People on the beach, <laughs> people walking along the beach. That was neat. The dolphins always attract a big crowd. They are the stars of the show here at Del Norwegians. That's no two ways about that. It's gorgeous. that blue sky to the east. Wow.
Hey, be sure to check out all of my photos here on Facebook. Lots of videos, photos. When you find something you like, hit the like, and more importantly, hit that share button. Share it with your friends, as well as these live feeds. We're getting really close to hitting the 20,000 mark on our little following here on Southwest Florida Television. Hopefully, any day now, we'll hit the 20,000 mark. So tell your friends. Yeah. One more quick look at the water. How clear it is. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous this morning. Hey, have a great hump day. Happy Wednesday from wherever you're watching. We got friends from all over the world now. That is so neat. When you come out to the beach, if you do ever get a chance to make it here to Del Nor Wiggins, make sure you say hi to our friend Roy. You'll find him up there in his beach chair in Area 4, the north end of Parking Lot 4, right under the osprey nest up in the tree there. Make sure you say you let him know you saw him on Facebook. He gets a big kick out of that. Again, have a great day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.